Hello Boulder Mountain, I'm Steve Ruth and I have the privilege of sharing this week's devotional video with you. In his Sunday sermons, Pastor Kyle has been continuing in his series in the book of Acts, focusing on the church. This past Sunday, he discussed Acts chapter 4, the head of the church. In the events described in Acts chapter 4, Peter is asked by the rulers, the elders, and the teachers of the law, by whose name do you minister? Peter's response clearly states that all the wonders, signs, the messages, the growth was done in the name of and under the name of Jesus. In Philippians chapter 2, verses 10 to 11, the Apostle Paul also answers this question very clearly. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord for the glory of God the Father. Now, all of us are involved in the church and ministry in various ways, whether it's a formal Boulder Mountain effort, such as Live Nativity, or Outreach, Children's Church, the worship team, or any of the many other Boulder Mountain efforts, or maybe it's an effort on our own. We're serving Jesus for the purpose of his glory. It's not about us. We're the hands and feet, uh, not the face. Now, many of us will agree 100% with this idea when we're talking about the church with a capital C. We recognize that Jesus is the head of the global church. It gets more difficult to keep our egos and our pride out of the way when we're looking at our local activities, you know, the church with a small c. When we're involved in leading the activities of a local effort, delivering food, being part of a work day, speaking to our neighbors, then it's easier for the me part to be front and center. As Pastor Kyle discussed on Sunday, pride is a killjoy and can destroy fruitful ministry. So the question we should be asking ourselves is, in whose name do I serve and give, mine or Jesus? I know from my personal experience that when I'm involved in these local efforts, it's easy for me to make it about what I want or think is best and not what God wants or is directing. So how do we overcome this tendency to make it about us? It's a very human tendency. And I think it's about slowing down a bit and trying to listen. Listen for God to lead us through the Holy Spirit. Staying in God's Word through regular Bible study is also a key. Now, as Patrick Hill mentioned in his sermon a few weeks ago, there used to be a popular saying, what would Jesus do? WWJD. Well, maybe now that saying should be, what would Jesus want me to do? I'm not sure I can always act the way Jesus would act, but if we try to understand and act as Jesus would want us to, then maybe we can keep the focus on serving our neighbors and loving our neighbors the way Jesus wants us to. Another good saying is, keep the main thing the main thing. And the main thing for all of us to remember is that it's all about Jesus. He's the head of the church and head of us. As Pastor Kyle likes to remind us, we exist to make disciples as we help people find and follow Jesus. It's all about him. So let's close this devotion with prayer. And Dear Lord, thank you for leading us. Thank you for letting us be part of your efforts and help us keep it in mind that you are the focus, you are the, the objective of everything we do. It's to bring people to know you better and to love you and to be saved by you, Lord. So please help us keep you as the focus and keep ourselves in the background. Thank you, Lord, and we ask this in Jesus' name. I thank you, Boulder Mountain, for, for listening and for watching. I look forward to seeing you this Sunday at either 9 or 1030. Have a good rest of your week. Goodbye.